I'm going to show you an easy way to add bass notes into your swing comping. This is a fairly easy pattern, and once you have this under your fingers, you're going to be able to decorate it with moving bass lines. I'm planning a follow-up video where I show you how to do just that, but in this lesson I want to get you going with the basic pattern. These are the chords I'm going to be playing throughout the lesson. And I'm going to play these as shell voicings. And if you want to learn more about shell voicings, check the videos linked in the description. For the E flat 6, I'm going to play this shape. And I'll place the root note on string 5 fret 6, which is the note E flat. For the C7, I'll use this shape. And I'll place the root note on string 6 fret 8, which is the note C. I'm playing that with fingers 2, 3, 4. You could also use fingers 1, 2, 3. For the F minor 7, I'll play this shape. I'll place the root on string 5, fret 8, which is the note F. And for the B flat 7, I'll use this shape, placing the root note on string 6, fret 6, which is the note B flat. Also notice, this is the same shape I'm using for the C7. If I play that at the 6th fret, it's a B-flat 7. If I move it up to the 8th fret, it's a C7. Before we break down this pattern, I want to mention that the notes you see in the example are not the exact notes I'm playing. They just represent the pattern. The notes with stems facing down are played with your thumb, and the notes with stems facing up are your finger notes. For this pattern, I'm playing the bass notes with my thumb on every beat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And I'm playing the rest of the chord with my fingers, fingers one and two, on the end of one and on the end of three. One and two, three and four, 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 and then one. Put that all together, and here's what we've got. You might find this easier to learn if you look at the rhythm you get when you combine the thumb and the fingers. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. That thumb plays on the downbeats, and the fingers play after beats one and three. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Notice that I'm not holding the chord very long. If I hold the chord that I'm playing with my two fingers throughout the measure, it muddies the pattern up a bit. For a cleaner style, I want to put some separation between those chords. And I'm doing that by letting up pressure on the strings. I'm still touching the strings, but I'm relieving the pressure so the string stops ringing. And if you want to learn a little bit more about that, check out my Swing Comping 101 video. A cool thing about this pattern is that when the chords only last two beats, you've got a nice bass line built right in. Again. There are
there are ways to add even more movement into your bass lines, but I'm gonna save that for a follow-up video. I'll add a link in the description of this video as soon as I have that video ready for you. Don't forget to check out those shell voicing videos linked in the description. And if you like the way these shell voicings sound, check out my book, Three Note Jazz Guitar Chords. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more guitar tips. Mm -hmm.